this question, we're going to look at how to copy or move a document from one workbox to another. This can be useful if you've been working on a specific document, such as a contract or a procedure, and you might have created that contract or document as part of an existing workbox. Now that the contract or the policy document is created and completed, you might want to use that document over in another workbox. Traditionally, moving information from one place to another has always been um, a little bit awkward. It could be difficult to do. The good news is when you're working in a workbox, there's very simple ways of copying or moving information. In the demonstration, we're going to show you the process that allows us to take a copy of a document and move it to a new location. So here we are, we've logged into Izzy. We're heading into the My Teams tab and we're going into a specific team site or a specific community of practice. It doesn't matter which one we go to, the process will be the same. So we open up an existing demonstration team site. We're going to go into a folder within the team site and what we're looking for is a document that we might want to take a copy of. So here we've found this report 2014 document and we're selecting it by ticking to the left. We're then going to go up to the workbox tab in the ribbon and within there you can see there's two options that we could use. There's cut and there's copy and these work in basically the same way that they would work in your Excel spreadsheets and your Word documents and your PowerPoint. So we're going to choose to copy you can see a green bar confirms to you at this point, a copy has been successfully taken. So behind the scenes now, the environment has a copy of our file ready to distribute to other locations. We're now going to head over to a different workbox. And again, we're going to head into a folder within one of those workboxes. So you can see there's already two files here. We're going to go up to the workbox tab and we're going to choose to paste. And we can see now if we zoom in, um, report 2014, a copy of that has now been placed here in this second workbox. If I head back one more time into the workbox tab in the ribbon, and this time draw your attention to a thing here called view a clipboard. You can see this tells you there's still a copy of our file stored in the clipboard. So we could go to a third workbox and paste into there and a fourth workbox and paste into there. For now, we don't want to. We want to tell the system that we've finished pasting this particular document, this report 2014. So we've gone into there and we can click, as you've just seen me there, um, clearing the clipboard. So that basically clears down that memory. So the next time we come to do a cut and paste or a copy and paste, with a different type of document or a different file, for example, um, it will be blank and it will be empty and ready for us to use again. 